So in this video, I'm just gonna demonstrate a professional development sign-up system that I've created using Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets. If you would like to have this system as a fully written system and just to adapt to the way that you want it, then please go to the link showing on the screen right now where you can download these resources and change them to the way that suits your establishment. So I'm just gonna do a demo of how this works. So I've logged into a test account and this is actually Darth Vader's account and I'm going to choose a PD session that I wanna sign up for. So Garage Band for Beginners and then I'm going to do next. And then this is the different choices I can choose to actually sign up. So I'm gonna go for Tuesday the 23rd, 11.35 and then submit. I'm gonna submit another response and we're gonna choose interactive lessons next. And then further down, we're gonna choose, let's choose Thursday the 18th of May. So what I've done is I've signed up for two different courses that I'd like to attend. So now as the administrator of this database, what I can see now is I have two new entries. This entry on row eight and row nine. Darth Vader has entered the information. And as we can see, Thursday the 18th and Tuesday the 23rd have been chosen. Then all of these fields here are fields that are calculated. It creates a unique key and the rest of these columns are add-ons. So the first thing that's gonna happen is an event will be sent to the calendar of Darth Vader. They will also get a confirmation email and they will then get a reminder email. An email will go to the trainer to say they have a new attendee for their training course. And then finally, we've got a feedback section here. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna force the run of these scripts. So I'm gonna to go to add on. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run Eventomatic. So preview and create events. We got three events there. I'm gonna tick that and it's now gonna calculate and create those events. If we scroll along now to the, event, the events, we can see here the event ID and everything has been populated in that section. So now let's go to the Darth Vader calendar and have a look. So here's Darth Vader. I'm gonna open up his calendar. And let's go to May. So we can see here now that the interactive lessons near pod has actually been added to the calendar. And if we go one more week, we can see the garage band has actually been added here as well. So it's done the job. Now what we can do is we can go back to the administrator view. Now what I need to do is I need to force run the confirmation email and the email to trainer. So let's do that. So we're gonna to go to add-ons and we're gonna to go to formula preview and send all and you can see here it's going to send four emails confirmation email email to trainer confirmation email and email to trainer let's send that now so let's have a look it would have gone to the trainers homer and bart and also darth vader would have some emails as well so let's have a look at that so we can see here trainer bart has actually got an email so we can click on that email dear bart simpson you have a new sign in for the training staff name is darth vader which which session it is it's the interactive lessons and the time and date here. Okay, so now what we can do is go back to our Darth Vader. We should have two comp confirmation emails from Darth Vader. So we got this one here saying, thank you for booking your slot with Garage Band, blah, blah, blah. And, and then we've got another one here. Thank you for booking your other slot, your interactive lessons near pod, etc. So what I'd like to show you now is the reminder email. So what will happen on the day of the training, the teacher will get a reminder email to say that they have training on that day. In order to do this, we have to force a few things here. So I'm just going to change some dates and times here to today's date. So these are the, these are the last two sessions that I wanted and we are on the 17th of August today. Okay, because I've changed both of these, we should now get a flag here saying run. So what that basically means that now, this email, this reminder email will be sent. So we can run that, we can run our formula again and force the run. It will run every hour, but we want to force it. So preview, and we can see here, reminder email for both of those sessions. Send now. So let's go back to Darth Vader, and you can see here we've got two emails. So let's go to the email. Dear Bart Darth Vader, this is a reminder for that session, and we've got another one here, a session here etc. So that's the reminders. Now the final part of this PD system is the feedback for attendees. Once the course has been delivered, 
the trainer can actually put into this spreadsheet whether they've attended or not. So we can put two wires there for those two. They've both attended. And then what we'll do is we'll run and force run formula once again. You can see here we've got the feedback and we can send now. They've been filled in so we can go back to Darth Vader. And Darth Vader now has a email from both of these sessions. So we can click on the first one. Thank you for attending the, the session with the trainer followed by the training course. And then what they can do is click on the feedback form. So we're going to click on the feedback form now. So which session was it? Well, it was garage band. So we can click on garage band and please give comments. Would you like a follow up session? Yes, we would. Let's go next. And what time and date would you like that follow-up session to happen? So we can click on this. So let's have a follow-up session for tomorrow. And let's put a time in of 11 o'clock in the morning. And then submit. So as Darth Vader, I've, I've submitted my feedback. Now what I can do is I can go back to my trainer email. And you can see here, as a trainer, I've received two emails. So let's click on the first one. And this is saying that I've received feedback from Darth Vader about the garage band session. Um, this is the feedback that was given, whether they would like a follow up and the date of that follow up. Now, if we go back, we've also got an invitation here to a session at on Friday, the August the 17th at between 10 and 11. So we can say respond to that and say yes. And then if we go to our calendar now, I can see there's this follow up in my calendar as the trainer. So if I go back to the user, Darth Vader, and there you can see in their calendar, the follow-up session has been added. We can say yes to that. And then what we can do is we can go back to the trainer's calendar and you can see it's been added to their calendar as well. And then we can say yes to that. So as a result of that follow-up feedback, there is an event in the trainer's calendar and the user's calendar. So that's a professional development sign-up and feedback system. If you would like to have this system as a fully written system and just to adapt to the way that you want it, then please go to the link showing on the screen right now where you can download these resources and change them to the way that suits your establishment. If you're interested in building this system on your own, then please subscribe and there will be videos that will go through the process gradually, step by step, so you can build it on your own. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.